Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in digital image processing. We'll discuss pattern recognition system today. In the previous tutorial, we talked about what pattern recognition is as a process and it of course it deals with recognizing a lot of patterns which are used in day-to-day -day lives. For example, face recognition is perhaps the most important and widespread example of pattern recognition these days. Now as a system pattern recognition uh, consists of various stages like sensing, segmentation, feature extraction and the design of classifier. <coughs> we'll talk that later. Now in order to understand a pattern recognition system how, how can we start developing a system to recognize a pattern. I've taken up a small example. Uh, we need to build up a system that can classify four characters A, B, C, D. Now the first thing that we need to classify characters is to define features in, in a system and then we'll match those features to identify those characters. For example, I've taken up two features, line and curve, because we know that characters are made, made up of lines and curves. So I'll say, I'll only inspect these two features to recognize the character. Now, if you talk about A, A has one, two, three, four, and five lines and zero curves. So I fill that up here in this small table and B has two lines and two curves so I fill that up too and C has zero lines and one curve and D has one line and a curve <coughs> now this can be drawn in a two-dimensional space and these features can be written like this as a 2D thing for each character and I've drawn this on a feature space please understand this is known as a feature space and these are data points uh, now a with <coughs> five lines and zero curves will be seen here B with two lines and two curves C and D so you can uh, draw these data points here <coughs> but if such a system is subjected to a symbol which deviates from the actual symbol for example if someone draws a like like this so it has one, two, three, four lines and this part is a little curvy. So I'd say that this has four lines and one curve. So if we if we go on to plot this A on the feature space, it'll it'll be somewhere here. <coughs> now if you look at this point, the nearest closest class region to this point would be A. So the system will recognize this input character as A. And the reason why it recognizes that character as A is the minimum Euclidean distance of an object um, which is under inspection is the closest match to the uh, class to which it belongs and I'll talk about Euclidean distance in a separate video because this is one mathematical approach where uh, the matching happens for the patterns <coughs> now let's talk about the limitations of a pattern recognition system a pattern recognition system if we were to draw a system for the entire alphabet set of English 
and if we subject n and z to uh, this it will find that it has three lines and n also has three lines so it will fail to recognize the character and how can we correct that now this has happened this failure has happened because we were only taking lines and curves to find out the character to match the character to classify the character if if we would to take more features uh, for example the orientation of lines or the angle between the lines or uh, if we also account the number of horizontal lines there or the number of vertical lines there then we would be able to segregate these two alphabets also from in, in a pattern recognition system so addition of more features will make the system more robust although it will make the system complex which is the cost that we need to pay but the objective of a robust pattern recognition system is to correctly identify an input object and put it into a class to which it really belongs. Now having understood the basics of uh, such a system, what are the basic uh, things that we need to keep in mind, the descriptors, the number of descriptors and those descriptors that really make sense is super important to make a system but uh, at the core of uh, the system we have those fundamentals which are important from the point of view of examination also uh, the blocks are the sensing block the first block for a pattern recognition system is the sensing block it'll sense how the data is captured for example a camera could be a sensing device for a pattern recognition system for facial recognition <coughs> a microphone a thermometer can be sensing devices then we have the segmentation block now once the data is captured we need to extract exact exact info of our interest from the captured data so this is the key point that exact info needs to be uh, extracted and um, out of the frame if we can successfully extract the face that will lay a solid foundation for a robust face recognition system and the next block is feature extraction. <clears throat> feature extraction says that the feature values of the same class objects should be closely related to each other. So if, if an object mm, belongs to certain class, so it's the values of the features of that object should remain within the limits of that class. That is one important point of feature extraction design. And finally we have the design for classifier ones. Once all the features are calculated, the values for those features are calculated, then finding an exact match of the object with the pattern class or with the database is the only job left with the pattern recognition system. And once that job is done, we get to a result which is correct. So um, these are the four building blocks and these building blocks, they need to be designed meticulously for any system to work correctly. And I hope this quick tutorial was of help. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll continue making videos on this topic in the future and I'll hope to see you around. Take care. Bye bye.